Legends, welcome back to another episode of where I test every single vehicle that I can find in Forza Horizon 4. The vehicle I'm testing today is a 2013 BMW M6 Coupe Forza Edition. So, this one's parts have been reset to default and the tuning has been reset to default so we can see the individual discrepancies between the vanilla version that I tested in the previous ver uh, video and this one. So, Class A 780, rear wheel drive, engine sits in the front, and you also have the Forza Edition Drift Skills Boost. Hmm, very, very nice perk to have. Um, yeah, so let's quickly compare it to the vanilla version. Yeah, so you can see it's just basically one point difference in performance. So, yeah, well, it will be interesting to see if there is actually a, a difference in the in how it drives I'm not too sure but let's see comment your thoughts below on in the comments on this vehicle alrighty let's see what it does I think the color that you get by default is like this neon blue color uh, didn't like it that much, so I want to just change it to black. I think it looks nicer. I don't know. Comment below. What do you think? Do you like the default neon blue? <laughs> it's okay. It's totally cool. I thought it was cool when I saw it the first time. No, I'm like, yeah, okay. I'd like it a little bit more smooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually pretty good. It responds. It's still a heavy vehicle. Gear ratios are a bit weird. Struggles for grip on the dirt. Makes sense. Just like the other one. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky on the dirt, but you can use it as a dirt, dirt road racing vehicle if you really want to. Maybe just drop the tire pressure but it should behave a little better. Brakes are very good. Tires are not amazing. Quick gearbox, I love it. See the interior. It's pretty much the same. Don't know if it's a little bit different maybe with carbon fiber. I've noticed it now for the first time so carbon fiber trim. Man, it is a quick vehicle though. Ooh. Streaming V8. It's awesome. Struggling for grip. There we go. Let's get it back there. Now it's back. <laughs> so yeah, the interior view, it does help you feel the subtleties of when the car is going to lose grip and just by how much you can balance it with the throttle, it'll be much easier with the steering wheel and pedal set. But yeah, lovely. Enjoying it so far. I just feel a little bit more, just like a little bit more responsive compared to the, the vanilla one. Just a little, a little. I don't like that, you know, the dashboard glare in the the <laughs> windshield, but yeah, 252.2, so it's about right on par. It's, it's good. It's good for a, you know, higher tiered. Well, it's okay. It's okay. At least we won the race. <laughs> Doesn't matter that much because I really want you guys to see the differences rather, you know. Um, but it's nice to win the race as well, obviously. But the point is rather, you know, that you can see maybe 
you can see the differences. Maybe you can't. Comment below if, if these videos are helpful at all. <laughs> Alrighty. Nice. Yeah, so like I said, the tires not great. Ooh. Yeah. It struggles for stability. I have to fight it a bit. Not very quick to respond, so you need to be very, very careful. It's quick to lose control, that's for sure. <laughs> See, like that, and then you lose so much speed. So you definitely need dirt tires and some suspension for this thing if you want to use it for cross-country and for dirt. I mean it'll make the dirt racing so much better. The suspension is just a little too stiff. Oh boy, you see. Struggling for grip. Still struggling. Still struggling. <laughs> the thing with these Forza edition vehicles they're more geared towards road racing for some reason uh, except for the obviously the Illumicraft class 10 race car Understeers, oversteers, understeers, tires. Tires and suspension is what this thing needs. To just gain a little bit of discipline. so much energy <laughs> but it doesn't exactly know what to do with it there you are 318.7 so for a class A mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can be better, a lot better. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's check it out on the drag strip. See how it does there. Right. It's, it's a quick gearbox. Obviously the lack of grip doesn't really help much. You need that for your quarter mile success, you know? It's 
Cobra is boxing me in a bit. Let's see if I can get past. Good. Seems to be strong enough. Picking up good speed. Very nice. Let's see how many gears it's got. Seven. And there you are. So it's certainly a quick vehicle, yeah. One zero one point seven. So yeah, I think that's that's a good time for a class A. It's not the fastest class A, but it is it is relatively quick. It'll, it'll just be so much better with better tires. <laughs> Alrighty, so one final test. Will it drift? Mm, well, it's got a drift perk, doesn't it? So let's see. Good burnout. Ooh, there's a little something there. Ooh. Certainly something. Yeah. Needs more power. That's why when you get it, it's already got upgrades in it and it's already a pretty good drift vehicle, so. Is it better than the vanilla one? Yeah, it, it does feel a little bit better. I think maybe it's got a little bit of weight reduction or something, I don't know. It just feels a little bit more willing to drift. Yeah, comment below, what's your thoughts? <laughs> Certainly helps. Alrighty, there you have it guys. This has been the BMW M6 Coupe Forza Edition. Hope you enjoyed it, please like the video if you liked it. And um, subscribe if you want to support the channel, that would be super. And comment your thoughts below, want to hear it want to hear what you think about this vehicle. As always, see you in the next one. All the best. Peace.